In today's video, we're going to have a bash at creating this flat design set of apartments using Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, it's made up of fairly simple shapes, but there's a lot of them, and there's a lot of alignment going on just to get it looking nice and neat like I have. Okay, so we're going to spend a bit of time um, getting this perfected, but it's not too hard. So we'll get started now by heading up to the File menu and selecting New. From here, we'll go to the Web Templates and choose the 1280 by 1024 document size and click Create. First thing we want to do is grab our rectangle tool from our toolbox and we're going to draw a background color onto the canvas here. So in your um, Properties panel over here, just turn the Stroke color off. Look for the box with the red line through it. And for your fill color, we're just going to choose a nice light blue. So I'm going to type in a hexadecimal code for this. It's going to be 1FD. 6FF. And when you're done, just click in the top left hand corner of your canvas and drag down to the bottom right hand corner. And you get a nice blue background. In your layers panel, let's lock that background now. So go into layer 1, click on the rectangle here, and just hit the empty box on the left, which will bring up a little padlock to show that it's locked into position now. Next thing we're going to do is draw the actual structure, or the outside of the set of apartments. So we'll stick with our rectangle tool here. We'll just change our fill color. And again, I'm going to go to the color mixer here and choose my own color using a hexadecimal code of EAAB80. So EAAB80 will give us this light browny orange kind of color. Now to draw the apartments on, they're going to be pretty tall and pretty skinny. Something probably like that will look good. Leave a little bit of room at the top because you do want to draw a roof on a bit later. Okay, we can resize this though as need be once we get the windows in. So that's the next step, getting the windows on. So just click off everything and grab your rectangle tool again. Now to draw the windows, we're going to go over and change our fill color. The fill color is going to be the glass inside the windows. So we're looking for a blue color here. So the code I'm going to use is 73A0B7. 73A0B7, you'll see you get a light blue color for the fill. And the stroke's going to be the, like the outside of the window, so the frame of the window. And again, I've got another color code that I'm going to type in for that. It's A34641. And that gives us a kind of reddish color. And we just need to click up near the top left here and draw in one window. Now we've got to go four down and three across, so make sure you've got enough room to fit those in. Alright, so let's have a look at this window now. It's not a bad size, but we do need to make that window frame bigger. Okay, so let's change it to about 10 point. That's looking more like a window now. The next step on this window is to put some window sills on down the bottom here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here a bit clearer. I'm simply going to grab my rectangle tool again and change my fill color. Okay, so for the window sill, the top one we're going to put in, um, I've got some codes written down here, we'll try DC9171. Okay, it's a similar kind of color to the actual um, building itself. All we're going to do is click and drag a little window sill on, like so. Okay, just make sure that's positioned pretty much in the center of the window. Now we're going to use our selection tool to duplicate this. So just hold Alt and click and drag down. Hold Shift as well when you're dragging down so that it keeps it in line with the other one above it. We're going to change its fill color to something a little bit um, different. So we're going to go D5796C. You can see we get this light reddish color. Okay, feel free to nudge them down a little bit lower. We don't want to see too much of the window frame at the bottom. It needs to be looking something like that. Last thing I want to do to this window is put a bit of a shadow across the top half of it. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle one more time, change the fill color to black. And I'm going to get in nice and close here and try and start right in that corner. Oh, I missed that corner. I may have to draw this again in a moment. See how the nudging around goes. It's a little bit too um, a bit too big, so a little bit of trial and error to get this right, but hopefully that will be close enough and it's not going to be an issue. I'll change the opacity there. I'll try 50%. That looks pretty good. 
Let's bring it down a little bit lower. That's not too bad. So that's basically how one of our windows are going to look. So if I zoom out, can't really tell it's not fitting quite nicely, that shadow in there, but near enough is good enough. All right, so that is our window done. What I'm going to do now in my layers is just lock this creamy colored rectangle here, which is the actual building itself. What I'm going to do now is click and drag over this window. I'm going to right click on it and group those elements together. So that window now is one big um, group here. So what I can do now is with my selection tool is just click on that and hold Alt and drag out to the right. Hold Shift when you do that as well so that you duplicate the window and put it in the exact same position to the right. Do the same again by holding Alt and Shift and dragging out to the right again with the next window. Okay, now I'm going to unlock my building because obviously we need to make it a little bit wider. It's not fitting those windows in very well. I'll go back and lock it and just shuffle those building uh, windows around a little bit more to give them a bit of space between one another. All right, so they look pretty much evenly spaced out. Just to be sure, what I'm going to do is just hold down shift and click on all three of those windows and go to my window and align panel. In the align panel, we want to distribute these objects, probably horizontally distribute them so they're all evenly spaced apart. We'll just check that they're vertically distributed as well. So that looks good. They're all perfectly in line with one another. So what we can do now is hold the Alt key and drag down. Now hold Shift to keep them in line. We'll get the next set of windows in below. Let's do the same again for the third floor. Now use your guides to make sure the distance between the windows are all good. And then we'll do that one more time for the bottom floor. Make sure you're holding shift while you do this. There we go. So what we've got now is a basic set of apartments. I would like a little bit more room at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is unlock that and I'll just stretch the bottom down a bit more. Now it has gone off my page, but that's fine because we can just highlight everything. I'll just move it all up a bit. We'll make room for the roof a little bit later. Now on this bottom section, we don't need this middle window. So I'm going to delete it. We're actually going to put a door in. Okay, so to do the door, we'll be using the rectangle tool yet again. So in your properties, we'll change our fill color. Let's choose another code here. For the door, we're going to go D0, uh, what have we got, 6158. That's our fill. Now we're going to do a stroke as well on this door. Just choose black or something for the minute, and then I'll let you type in a code. Um, now we're going to do the same as the outside of the windows. So that was A34641. And we'll have to make that 10 point just like with the windows. Now we're going to start somewhere close to those other windows. And we're just going to draw ourselves a door a little bit wider than the windows, obviously. Probably looking something like that. Now you want to zoom in here and make sure that the top of the door is pretty much level with the top of the windows. You might need to use your arrow keys to nudge it around a bit until it looks pretty good. Alright, so on the door we need to put in a door knob. So use the ellipse tool for that. Um, we want to turn the stroke off and just choose any old fill colour. I'm just going to go with a lightish kind of blue here. Uh, nothing too harsh though, keep it pretty subtle. Hold shift and just draw out a little doorknob. Feel free, feel free to nudge that around with your arrow keys until you've got it, into, whoop, got it into a good position like so. It's a little bit dark I guess. Might just change it to a similar, oops, similar colour to the windows. I'll just have to turn the stroke off. Yeah, that's a bit better. Alrighty, so that's our door frame all done. We just want to put some steps at the bottom as well. So to do the steps, we'll just use the rectangle tool. We'll change the fill color. Uh, I'm going to do two different steps, one lighter gray and one darker gray. Um, probably just go with this one, see if that's the right one. Uh, I'll type in the actual colors I've got written down here because I think they look good. So we'll go 999, 999. So it's just six nines there. And for the steps, they're just a little bit wider than the door. Click and drag out. First step, grab your arrow key, hold Alt 
and duplicate that shape by dragging down or holding shift. And this second one, we're going to change its colors. Okay, it's going to be all sixes. So 666, 666. And that makes it darker gray. All right, so we just leave them in there. They should snap onto the bottom of the house. Oh, sorry, apartment block. So zooming out now, that's looking pretty good. That's how I want it to look so far. Okay, um, we're going to do the roof on these apartments now. And as you can see, we're running out of room to put the roof on. So I may have to just go to my layers here. If everything's unlocked that I need unlocked, I'm just going to highlight everything. And I'm just going to hold shift and drag in from the corner at the top a little bit. Yeah, that keeps everything in proportion and just resizes everything. So we've got a little bit of room to do this roof. Now the roof is done with rounded rectangles. Okay, we're going to have two colors in the roof. In our properties box, the first fill color that we want to type in is DC8460. And up near the roof here, we'll zoom in a bit. It's going to go a little bit off the edges here. Click and drag out a rounded rectangle. Looking something like that. Now you can hold Alt with your selection tool. Click and drag up on that just to duplicate it and set it right on top. This next one's not going to be as thick, so we'll make him a bit skinnier. And we'll change his fill color to another color, which is going to be a reddish kind of color. And the color I've got here is D061. 5A. All right, now we're just going to highlight both of those by holding down Shift and clicking on both of those roof panels, holding Alt, and then Shift and dragging up. I'm going to snap them, them in on top there as well. You can resize them a little bit just to get them looking good. You work out what you think looks good, but that is basically the roof that we're chasing. Okay. Now one of the finer details that we have to include on this is some um, bricks scattered throughout our design. Okay, so go back and grab the rectangle tool. And in your properties, we're going to change this fill color. The bricks we want, they're going to be E1835F. Okay, and we're just basically going to draw in, if I zoom in at the top here a little bit, some little bricks that are going to be scattered around in random positions on our page. Just little rectangles. So we'll do, say, one there, one over here. If you want, you could copy and paste these and just move them in different positions. Probably just quicker to draw them, though. Okay, so you can double sum up. So I might draw one attached to the other here. Just something weird like that. Um, coming down, we'll throw in a few more. Maybe one coming out from the side there. Feel free to fast forward through the video here if you want to. I'm just going to be drawing in some bricks for the next minute or two. Just as a bit of decoration around the house. Can be different. Oops. They can be different sizes as well. Very fiddly some of this stuff, so yeah, be careful with it. Don't overlap any window sills. Try not to go out outside the lines or anything like that. Couple more down towards the bottom, and we'll almost be done. All right, so if we zoom out there and have a bit of a look, it's not too bad, just adds a little bit of um decoration I guess to our set of apartments. The last thing I want to do keeping with the flat design tradition is just throw a bit of a shadow onto this house. So the way we do that is just grab our rectangle tool, change our fill color here to black and we simply click and drag over half of the building. 
your guides should pop up, your pink guides, and show you when you're at the halfway point. We'll just look for using your eye there. You should be able to tell where halfway is. Now with this um, black rectangle tool select, selected, change the opacity there. We'll try 10% to start with. Probably not dark enough. We'll try 20%. That looks better. And once we've got that shadow in, we're just going to select everything on our page. So click and drag over the top of everything, including that new rectangle you just put in. Grab your Shape Builder tool, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and just click in this extra space around the outside of that rectangle and that will delete it. Now when you click off it, you can see what this nice shadow across half of the building, which gives it that flat design look. And that is basically it. If you wanted to, you could resize that, stretch it out, make it a little bit taller. You would have to redo the shadow though if you did that. But I think that looks pretty good. If we compare it to the original I drew, you can see that they're very similar. Okay, just a little bit wider than the one's a little bit wider than the other. Okay, so that is how you draw a flat design set of apartments in Illustrator.